Today we're doing a, another New Year's Eve look. Yesterday I did New Year's Eve look number one. Today we're doing New Year's Eve look number two. I decided to do a more cool tone look inspo for you guys. And then today's is going to be a more warm tone look inspo for you guys. So hopefully you find that enjoyable. We are going to use the Natasha Denona My Dream palette today because I figured probably a lot of people picked this up this year or at the very least has other midis in their collections or shadows in their collection that might be something similar to this one. So hopefully this all sounds enjoyable to you and you want to stick around. If you do, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. All right, we made it. This is the last video for 2022. The last one. Can you believe it? What a year. What a year. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I feel like I've probably said that in the last like three or four videos. Like, what a year, what a year. Can you believe we're here? But I can't. I can't believe that we're here. First brush I'm going to pick up is the R104 from What's Up Beauty. And I'm going to go into the Unity shade. If you have seen this, my Natasha... Let me start that again. If you saw the video I did where I curated my own Natasha Denona palette, it was housed in this little My Dream one. I had to undo it all for my ranking my palettes video. And I was so sad to pull apart that curation. Obviously I can just re-put it back together, but I was sad to like undo it. I really, really enjoyed that palette that I created. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is on the channel. I'll try and remember to link it down below, but I won't remember, let's be real. Um, I also have an Natasha Denona playlist if you find that easier to find, it'll be on there. I'm just packing this into the outer corner first and starting to, I think I want to maybe smoke out the outer corner a little bit. I'm definitely going to do more of those like curating my own palette type videos. Don't worry guys, you guys really, really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. It definitely brings like new life into your collection and makes you realize that you don't need any more makeup. <laughs> um, that's for sure. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. It's just fun creating something that you know you'll like every shade in and all that kind of stuff. I also have a heap of Sydney Grace singles sitting here that I need to film with. So that video will probably be up next week, me playing with Sydney Grace. I'm not taking any time off from videos in January, at least not intentionally. You never know what life throws at you, but intentionally right now, I am planning to stick to uploading in January. I have been uploading a lot which you've probably noticed. I've been trying to do between four and six videos a week at the moment. I would have loved to have done every day in December, but I just don't have that level of time with working. But um, I have been uploading way more than normal. So I will probably cut back in January for a little bit until uh, for, oh my gosh, why can't I speak today? I will cut back in January for a little bit to three videos a week. Just to give, I just need to take a little bit of a breather. I don't want to, I'd like to keep trying to pump out four videos, but it is a lot of work. If I can comfortably do four videos in the week, then I will, like if I have the time for some reason, I will. It will just be like bonus videos, but I need to cut back to three a week, at least for a little bit. Now I'm gonna pick up a What's Up R105 and I'm gonna go into Familia right here. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging this as we go. I'm going to take my Pat, uh, yeah, Pat McGrath Labs Intensify stick now and just pop this onto the lid. Obviously, as always, you don't have to use this. I just use it for my hooded eyes and to stop any potential fallout. Uh, let's take a refer number two now. And what shade will I go into? Naturally, I want to go into the cool tone shade, which is this one right here, but I'm not doing that. Um, I think I'm going to go into Spontaneous and lay that down first and then put Thrill over the top. Or should I just go on with Thrill directly? I think I'm just gonna actually, I'll say, let's just go on with Thrill directly and see how it goes. Yeah, we'll just go on with Thrill directly. Thrill's my favorite shade in this palette. This look might be a little bit boring, I'm sorry. If it is for you. I just wanted to kind of make it quite easy and wearable. Something that you could really quite quickly kind of throw on. Cause you could honestly just even skip you could just go in with the crease with like Carpe Diem or a shade that like suits your skin tone. Like maybe if you've got a deeper skin tone, like you could go straight in with Familiar 
and just throw it through the crease and then throw this on and it will have enough sparkle and like if you really amp up your mascara or if you wear lashes pop some falsies on and it will really amp the look up and pretty much be enough depending on you know kind of how you like to wear your makeup and then I'm going to take a ref of 13 now and go into aspiration here and I'm just going to take a really small amount not a lot at all and I'm just going to just really lightly tap it and blend it into this outer corner I just want to add just a little touch of smokiness out here but not a lot like just a real kiss and you can obviously build that up as as much or as little as you like or skip it completely again world's your oyster choose your own adventure around here I'm going to leave that there for now and let's go ahead and move on to our base makeup. For primer today, I'm going to take my Victoria Beckham by Augustina Spada Golden, just Golding Primer. Moisturizing Primer, I think it's called. Look, do I think this is worth the money? No, I really, really, really don't. Am I going to get every single cent out of it? You bet your bottom dollar because it was $100 <laughs> and I'm going to get my money's worth. So there you go. Last video of the year, I cannot believe it. This is not the last video I'm filming for the year because I haven't actually filmed my best and worst of 2022 makeup videos yet. I'm filming them after this because I try and bulk film. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. This is just a, um, actually I don't know what you call this anymore. Jess up, that's it, Jess up makeup brush. You can just get these brushes off Amazon. I'm trying to use a lot of different products in today's look than yesterday so that it's like mixing it up, you know. Um, today we're going to use the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Look how, look at this. Look, that needs to go on a makeup I want to use up, doesn't it? Um, this is light number 12, the shade. I'm trying, this is like a full coverage foundation that can get quite full on if you're not careful. So I'm going to try and keep it quite light, but we'll see. Sometimes it just goes wham bam before you realize it. I do love this foundation. Because it's so full coverage, I just can get a little bit carried away if I'm not careful with it because I just love how, I do love the blanked out look sometimes, you know. I wanted to put a wig on today. If you don't know, I suffer from hair loss and I wear alternative hair. This is my natural hair. Um, but like my, my, most of my hair loss is like around here. I am going to film an updated video because a couple of you guys have been asking for it. And I, my old one, I do have one on my channel, but it is quite old and I've updated how I do it. Normally I... Like I've started wearing wigs and stuff since that video. But anyway, what I was trying to say is I wanted to wear a wig today, but I was just too lazy to glue it all down <laughs> or like, you know, put it on. So we'll probably do the hair topper. <laughs> Where I get my hair toppers from is Luster Hair in Australia normally, um, which the pricing is insane now. I remember when I bought my first one, it was like $800 and now it's like three grand, I think, which is just insane to me. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing it's COVID that's put the prices up so, so much, but um. They have a new lace top hair topper that I would be very interested in trying. So I, I might have a look at that, but it's just so expensive, so we'll see. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD Concealer today in the shade 21. I haven't actually shown you guys this in a video. Well, you, I have, but in a, it's been in a speed through. I used to use this concealer years ago and I loved it, loved it. And then just other concealers came along and it went on sale on the Iconic for Black Friday, I think it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need this concealer again because it is so good. And since I've had it back in my collection, I'm like, oh yes, this is really such a, this is really such a good concealer. It really is. It's not the most full coverage concealer, but it's just the most lovely concealer for my under eyes and just so lightweight. And, and it's just, yeah, I just really like wearing, especially in summer when it's quite hot. I just, I find it's quite lovely. I'm going to put my Vive Lip Do on. I just love this lip do. It's so lovely. Let us move on to cream contour. I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta cream, cream contour. My Lord, I can't speak to. <laughs> and this is a BDHD 9, uh, yeah, 968 from Delium Tools. If you're wondering, we're just gonna tap this in and contour our sins away, I guess. <laughs> Shall we talk about the new year and what I'm looking forward to? Cause it's all about me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's not, that's for sure facetious the coffee's in today guys um let me know what you're looking forward to in the new year 
down in the comments pretty please that would bring me a lot of joy um i am looking forward to seeing what 2023 brings i can't remember what i said yesterday so i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself i'm really looking forward to what 2023 brings um, but me personally, I guess in what I'm kind of working towards with my channel is I would love to start doing live streams. I don't know what the number of subscribers I need to kind of hit before someone would like attend said live stream. I just don't want to like schedule a live stream and then have literally like no one turn up. So I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts around live streams. I don't want all my content to be live streams. That's for sure. But I think it would be fun to sometimes do some live stream. I'm gonna take my Kaleidos Symphony Face Illuminator in the shade Light today. I do have this in the contour trio as well. I do like the contour trio, but this was just in my powder collection. So I'm just gonna use this for my under eyes. This is a Sigma F35, if you're wondering, by the way. I would love to do live streams, especially for like doing, say like putting, like just literally copying and pasting Brit Clark's format of like new makeup releases where she would do her makeup and talk about new makeup releases. I think that would be really fun. Um, to just have an actual engaging conversation around like new makeup releases and have y'all be able to like chat back live. That would be really, really fun to me. I'm going to take my Kosas Breezy powder. I know I used this yesterday, but I'm just on a kick with it at the moment. Let me know if some content that you want to see from me next year, either more of or something new. You guys sometimes have the best ideas that I never think of, honestly. Like my ranking all of my Pat McGrath Live special shades that came from one of you. Like such a brilliant idea. A lot of my ideas honestly come from you guys. I know I haven't been able to get to like all of my comments lately. I'm trying. I've been actually going through at night lately and just like hiding all my older comments. But like if I've hearted it, I've read it. Just know that. Um, but I do actually read your comments. I really do. And I really do take into consideration the suggestions that you guys make. If you're an asshole to me, I'm just going to flat out block you. I'm sorry. But like, um, this is, this is our community. And in this community, I want to create a safe space for us to have engaging and meaningful conversations with each other. And we can disagree with each other a hundred percent because we should be, if everyone thinks the same, that is not a great situation. Do you know what I mean? You do want to have engaging conversations about different points of view, but not me at all. We, we don't do mean around here. Let's take my Gucci powder bronzer today, shall we? Um, so if you're mean to me, like in terms of like my looks or anything like that, one, people are going to be mean, probably call you out on it, but I'm just going to, to block you because we're not here to shame women and their looks, especially things that you can't like change. It's just not, we're just not here for that. Um, you know, you can, a lot of you have respectfully given me feedback before and I really genuinely appreciate it, but it needs to come from a good place and be respectful. It doesn't have to be like always, you know, sucking up my ass or anything, but just there's ways to say things, right? Um, I don't know how I've got down this track, but anyway, I just want to create a really beautiful community for us all, not just me. And when I say I'm just going to block you if you're being rude and mean, it's because it's not just me. Like, I want you guys to feel safe to comment down below and feel safe that um, you aren't going to get attacked for having a different opinion or saying something or, you know, anything like that. Like, it need, I want it to be, again, it doesn't all have to be the same opinion, but just a safe environment. There's a way that we can say things. I don't know how I got on this track now. I really went down the garden path, didn't I? For liquid highlighter today, let's use the Say Airy, uh, is it, no, Super Glowy Gel. I haven't used this in a little bit and I love it. I love it. So I guess maybe was I I honestly can't remember what I was saying. So congratulations to my brain, but I'm just having this on this. Look at it. Oh, I love it. To set my, um, say highlighter, which I wouldn't, I don't necessarily need to, but just for the sake of putting more makeup on, cause I'm having a good time. Let's use my Laura Mercier Celestial Light. I talked about this the other day in my revisiting my 2021 favorites. And I talked about just how much I love this. So let's put it on today. Look at it. Oh, Fire, just absolute fire. For cream blush, I'm going to use the Chanel Le Beige uh, Intense Coral Water Blush, Water Fresh Blush. Yes, that's what it's called. I saw Kaki put this in like her worst of, but I think it's because she might use it where she applies it like this and then directly onto her cheeks or something. But I've found that if you apply it on the back of your hand and then get your sponge and like work it into your sponge like really work it in, see how it's all blended out and then just lightly tap it on. I find it just goes on 
see, really seamlessly and naturally. I really do. So, and again, it just goes to show how different these products all work on each of us because she hates this product and I find it to be such a natural stunning blush and I know a lot of you do as well because when I reviewed these, so many of you in the comments were like, oh my gosh, yeah, these are the best. Fun fact, these are not even released in Australia yet. I asked the girl at the Chanel boutique the other day and she's like, yeah, it's just Australia. You know, we just never get anything for like a year after. And I was like, it's just so odd. Everywhere else has them. And she's like, I know we're all dying for them. So hopefully next year so that I can pick up some more shades. Blush we're gonna take the Gucci in Tender Apricot. I really like this blush, really enjoy it. Still wanna pick up another shade, but you know, I'm trying to be mindful. I might look a little blushy or a little blush heavy right now in the um, monitor, don't panic. It will settle down a little bit in a minute. For a little bit of setting spray, I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional, just spray my sponge and then just tap it. I think, see, I just think that that Chanel blush is flawless. I really do. It's so interesting how it works for different people, hey? Let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take Carpe Diem right here on a Sephora Precision Shadow Brush. I'll just run that underneath here. And you can smoke this out as much as you like or, you know, keep it bare. Just do what makes you feel the most comfortable if you are following along. I say these things like I'm just assuming you're gonna do the look. <laughs> Maybe you're like, nah. <laughs> Just picking up a BK204 and I'm going to go into a mixture of familiar and aspiration. Just going to mixy mix them together. And I'm just going to press it. I always get sad when I get to this part of the makeup application because it's over pretty much. Like I don't have much left. And just sitting here and putting my makeup on is my favorite thing in the entire world. There is nothing better to me. There really is not. Whether I'm filming it or not, just sitting here and doing my makeup. So I get really sad at this point. I swear that's why I started layering my cream and powder products to begin with, is so that it extended the length of time that I could do to put my makeup on. I have to work today, so I am going to take two eyeliners that I know won't irritate my eyes while I work. So I'm going to take the Victoria Beckham Coco liner on my top lash line. And then I'm going to take the Victoria Beckham Eye Brightener Pencil on the lower water line. I never film me doing these things, just as a side note, because... I know some people are actually sensitive to watching that and I'm mindful of that. Um, and then mascara, I'm gonna take my Say mascara. This is a mini and I really enjoy it, but I'm really nervous to pick up the full size because anytime I pick up a full size mascara, I end up not liking it. I'm scarred from my NARS Climax experience. Come together really nice. I, I, find, I think that that's really wearable. I personally do. Skin's looking good. I do say so myself. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do for lips? Hmm. I'm gonna wear a combo that I really, really love and I haven't worn it in a little while. So I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And then I'm gonna take the By Mario Muted Morph Lip Cream. This is not a liquid lip, it's just a lip cream. So you do need to like reapply it throughout the day but it is such a lovely formula. I have this like little freckle right here. I don't know if you can see it, but like it always makes me think I've like gone and like got a speck of lipstick there, but it's just a freckle that never goes away. <laughs> so you could leave it like this, but I personally love to add the By Mario Golden Nude Lip Gloss over the top of it. This lip gloss is so good. Perfect in my opinion, perfect. All right, shall I go figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair? Let's do that and uh, what I'm gonna wear because I'm in my robe. And then we will come back and see the final look all together. So, two seconds. And this is the finished makeup look. I just put my hair topper on and then chucked a clip on and some fancy girl jewelry and hopefully I look done up. I really don't have a lot of like going out New Year's Eve clothes. I'm not gonna lie. I That part of my life is done. I do not wish to be uncomfortable. Those little dresses, it's a no for me. So a lot of my clothes are just very loose, casual like dresses, if I'm honest. Sometimes they're in this kind of material that's like silk, so it looks a little bit more dressed up and I put some heels on and I'm like, yeah, I'm dressed up, you know? Anyway, getting old, I guess. <laughs> so many of you are gonna laugh at that because you're like, you're not old. Anyway, uh, this is the finished look. This is the final video for the year. Final video for the year. Honestly, I say it all the time, I know you guys are probably sick of it, but my lord, thank you. Just thank you. Just know, if you 
if you are here, if you subscribe, if you engage with me and you enjoy my videos in any way, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. The level of joy that I get from this channel is unmatched. It really is. It is unmatched. And I feel so fulfilled by it and by you guys. And I love every single one of you so much. I truly do. I, I don't know if you guys realize, but even like a lot of you, I recognize pretty much all of your names when you comment down below, especially if you're a regular commenter. I know so many of your names just off by heart. I appreciate all of the beautiful words and sentiments that you send me each and every day and you have brought me endless joy this year. You guys have been the biggest win for 2022 for me. I just appreciate and adore you all. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you have a truly beautiful end of the year, however you choose to spend it. I hope that you do something for you just for you. I hope that you get some joy in some way, shape or form. No, you are not alone. We are here for you. We will be back next week with you and we're sending all of the virtual hugs for you at this end of the year, whether it is a good happy end of the year or a not so great one. There is a hug from me coming your way. And um, yeah, I guess if you're watching till this point again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I hope that you have the most amazing day and weekend. <laughs> and 2023 that you can possibly have no matter where you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.